Into the white paper, the Tibet Autonomous Region has a population of more than three million people now. Over 92 percent of them are ethnic Tibetans. Today's prosperous life is in sharp contrast with that of 50 years ago. Back in the 1950s, Tibet was a feudal serfdom ruled by a theocracy. Five percent of the population was estate holders and their regents. They ruled the remaining 95 percent, who were serfs. Serfs had no personal freedom or fundamental rights. They suffered cruel political and economic oppression. The white paper notes the situation changed after the founding of the People's Republic of China in 1949. The People's Liberation Army realized peaceful liberation of Tibet and drove out imperialist forces there. The central government also helped abolish feudal serfdom and made people the owners of production. It also established the Tibet Autonomous Region in September 1965, and original ethnic autonomy started. The white paper says, with the implementation of regional ethnic autonomy, the people of all ethnic groups in Tibet have the full right to vote and stand for election. More minority ethnic groups officials there have been appointed, and they are improving capabilities through training programs. Ethnic relationships featuring equality, unity, mutual support, and harmony have been enhanced and developed. From 1952 to 2014, the central government provided nearly 650 billion yuan in financial subsidies to Tibet, which accounted for 92.8 percent of the region's public financial expenditure. Tibet's GDP soared from 327 million yuan in 1965 to 92.08 billion yuan in 2014, a 281-fold increase. Per capita GDP rose from 114 yuan in 1951 to 29,252 yuan in 2014, a 257-fold increase. In 2014, Tibet received 15.53 million tourists, a 4,436-fold increase compared with 1980, when the region first opened to tourism. Tourism revenue has now reached 20.4 billion yuan. A 20,400-fold increase. Tibet has entered the information age. The total length of optical cable lines has reached 97,000 kilometers. Over 30,000 kilometers are long-distance optical cable lines. Optical cables cover 97.8 percent of all townships and towns. By the end of 2014, there were 1,430 medical organizations in Tibet. All farmers and herdsmen are now covered by medical system, which provides free service. Tibet has achieved a 15-year free education from preschool to senior middle school. The illiteracy rate among young and middle-aged people fell to less than 0.57 percent. Over the decades, Tibet has organized large-scale and systematic campaigns to preserve its traditional culture. It has collected more than 10,000 pieces of music, songs, and folk art forms. And more than 30 million words of written texts. Tibet has also made efforts in respecting and protecting freedom of religious belief. There are 1,787 sites for different religious activities, and more than 46,000 resident monks and nuns. The white paper says the region's ethnic autonomy helps people of all ethnic groups become their own masters and enjoy full democratic, economic, social, and cultural rights. Snap CCTV.